Deshaun Watson is not going to be charged. So now we got to talk about where he's going to get traded. I said earlier that I don't think he would get traded, but that was because I expected Brian Flores to get involved with the Houston Texans job, but then all of the lawsuit happened, and as we just know, that never panned out. So here we are talking about Deshaun Watson and where he's going to get traded. There's a lot of teams that are going to be linked to this. A lot of teams that were before out, like Denver's out with Russell Wilson. The Dolphins have pretty much convinced themselves that Tua is going to be their guy. And the just things like that, the Washington football team, Washington Commanders, they now have Carson Wentz, so they'll probably be out of the mix. And the main teams I see making a move here are the Buccaneers, the Panthers, and the New York Jets. Besides those three, I could maybe see the Saints again in there. The Steelers, I don't think they'll do it, but besides those three, and maybe the Saints if you want to count them as four, I really don't see any other teams trying to make that big of a move. I think a lot of teams are solid with what they have at the quarterback position. And a lot of teams won't be willing to give up the asking price because if Russell Wilson is traded for two first round picks and a couple second round picks, then Deshaun Watson's going to be getting more than that because Deshaun Watson is younger and he's arguably better. I would say that he is better. And Houston's going to be asking for a lot. They know what they have and they clearly aren't willing to sell him for less because they would have traded him by now. Then the, another interesting thing is Houston may not be wanting a quarterback in return with how well Davis Mills played at the end of last season. So, if the Jets are getting involved, the Houston Texans may not be interested in Zach Wilson. They may have like Davis Mills enough to where we don't. We'd rather have draft picks to select different players than take your quarterback that you're giving up on for our quarterback. Same reason when the Dolphins were talking to him, they didn't want to attack Bailoa because they thought the only reason they're getting rid of him is because the Dolphins are giving up on him, and it's a very good point. So that's why I think the teams like the Panthers, the Bucks, and the Saints get more involved because they wouldn't be giving up a quarterback. Saints don't really have any quarterback in their roster now. James Wins is a free agent. They're going to have to bring someone in. Carolina would love to package Sam Darnold in the deal, but it's clear that he's not worth any value, so there's no point in even doing that. And as you just keep moving on with these teams, the Buccaneers losing Tom Brady, they got no quarterback in their roster, so they just give all the draft picks that they can. But the problem in the Texans' part is you got to try to give him to the team that won't be as good. You want to get the most draft picks but you want those draft picks to be worth something. So if you trade them to Tampa, Tampa goes out and win a Super Bowl because they still have a really good roster and almost won it this year, your picks aren't going to be worth that much. But if you trade him to the Jets and the Jets finish, still finish last, find a way to finish last in the division because the rest of the roster isn't as good as the rest of the Bucs roster, then you're in a situation where now you've got draft picks that are worth something. So that's why I think if you're, if you're, the Houston Texans, I look towards sending them to Carolina. I think Carolina is very desperate, and I think they'd give you a lot of draft picks. And I don't think the rest of their roster is that good. They have a really good defense, and I'd even maybe try to get CMC in the deal. If they're going to give him, if they're going to offer it, I'd take it. You take two first-round picks and Christian McCaffrey and take a couple second runners, and you move on. This way it works out cap-wise, switching these two guys. And McCaffrey's been in some talks before, and if you get him in the deal, then you know that, they're going to be trying to find a running back. And if you can give Deshaun Watson to a team that isn't as good as some of these other teams, then those draft picks that you get are going to be worth more. Like Denver and Seattle's deal, that made a lot of sense to me for Seattle because I still don't think Denver's going to win that division. You look at Kansas City, look at LA, and even the Raiders had a good season. They're still, Denver just doesn't jump from the last team to the first team. If you send him to, if you send Watson to the Bucs, the Bucs jump from the last, the worst team in that division to the best team in that division now. So, your draft pick is going to be mid-20s, maybe even the 30s if they win a championship. But if you have a team that misses the playoffs, you got some picks in the teens along with your pick, who's probably going to be low, and then that's a faster rebuild. But if you, like what the Dolphins did in the Larry Tunzel trade, having Houston being bad, able to get a high draft pick, that's what you want. You don't want to trade guys for first-round picks. They're pretty much going to be second-round picks because of how good that team's going to be. So if I'm the Houston Texans calling up Carolina and I'm saying, what do you want to do? Give me as try to get as much as you can. If it's draft picks only, if it's throwing Kirsten McCaffrey in there, because that adds value. Maybe they don't have the draft picks that you want. That's the package I want to make because I'm sending with Carolina because I just the offensive line there is not amazing. The the defense is pretty good, but I just the way Carolina is, they just I just I don't know. I don't like Matt Rule as a coach. I'm not completely sold on him. Send him to Tampa with Bruce Arians. It's just a better situation. And even if just the Buccaneers overall, their roster, I think, is better than Carolina's. And even the Saints, even without Sean Payton. So I just, a lot of, you want to send to a team that's going to give you good value draft picks. And I think that's Carolina. I think it makes the most sense. So if I'm the Houston Texans, I'm calling up Carolina. I'm sending Deshaun Watson there. I'm getting as much picks as I can, as much value as I can. 
and I'm hoping that they're not going to be as good, and we can have a quick turnaround with Davis Mills as our quarterback.